What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here for a little wheel system update with my 3D printed wheel adapter and quick release from AM Studios. So before I get into it, I want to, you know, huge shout out to AM Studios for designing these. I'll leave his link and where you can get them all in the description box below. He uh, basically designs them and you can uh, buy the design and print it on any 3D printer you want. So first off, you guys know from my wheel setup, I have the buttons and everything removed. So that is why we have the 3D printed boss adapter. As you can see, it's actually it'll slide right on, use the factory screws in the front. That'll screw right into it. It's for a 70 millimeter hub wheel. So if you had it removed and you didn't want to use a quick release, you could just pretty much use this adapter in itself. So it's actually a really, really awesome design. 70 millimeter hub. Uh, slips right on. You can use standard NRG screws like I'm going to be using for my NRG Innovations wheel or you can do normal pass-through screws with uh, nuts on the inside. All of that is on his page on how where to download it and print it. So it's a very high quality design adapter. This will slide right on and I'll put that on the wheel set up here in a few minutes. I have to show you all, all the other parts. So this is the new boss adapter that I have 3D printed. Um, it's pretty awesome, very high quality like I said, and uh, it'll just go right on the stock G920 without any modifications. So to that, I'm going to be adding this right here, which is the back part of the quick release for the G920, once again designed by AM Studios. So as you can see, it's got 70 millimeter, it'll bolt right onto that boss adapter, and then you can see it's got a basically inlet with a slit for the quick release which is also I'm going to show you here in a second but the way this works is basically you take a seat clamp from a bike post for a seat post and you put that on and that is what actually closes it and keeps the wheel in the centerpiece so I basically have one of my old mountain bike seat posts there so what goes into that is this which is a really Beautiful design adapter for the 70 millimeter hub wheels. As you can see, really nice print quality AM Studios on there. And it'll basically slide right into this. Now, I haven't done it yet, but you're gonna have to do a little fine sanding of the shaft part that goes in to make it a nice smooth fit, which I'll do that here in a second to make it, you know, go right in smooth. Now, the only thing I did notice, I did torture test one of these adapters. The basic adapters are or any printing software sets them to basically a 20% fill. Now, I did find out with this quick release, 20% um, fill is not a good idea. Uh, that's basically the default on 3D printers. I don't know why. So this is actually printed solid. Um, I'll show you right now. This is what happens when you set it to, you know, a 20% fill. As you can see, uh, yeah, it snapped clean off. So you can see on the inside, how it has almost like a 20% like gridded fill. That was not a really good idea for this adapter. As you can see there, it just snapped clean off. So this adapter is set to full, a solid fill. So this thing's solid. It's still pretty light, which is nice, which I like about all these pieces. Every single one of these pieces are really light, very lightweight. Uh, these are all 20% fill. Um, haven't had a problem with them yet. Uh, I would probably recommend printing them at a higher fill. Um, this one, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, this, because of the way it's beveled, I'm not too worried about it either, but I probably would recommend printing these at a little higher printing rate. Um, so now we're gonna get this adapter piece sanded up real quick, and then we're gonna get it mounted to the NRG wheel, and then we're gonna go over to the wheel setup and get everything hooked up. All right, so if you can see here, I just did a very light sanding on the actual adapter. That way that it slides basically really nice into the quick release part and then it'll come out, not a big deal. So now we're gonna get this hooked up to the G920 wheel and we're gonna be using actually the factory G920 screws, which I gotta grab real quick. Basically the factory little, you know, flathead cone shaped screws. So we're gonna take this we're going to take our adapter, put it behind it, and simply 
put them through, but what you do want to put on the inside of these, these are cut out very nicely for some, uh, basically some uh, little little nuts there. They uh, He explains all of which you need, what size and everything to put in there. So basically those just pop right in there. Like I said, the quality of these, this print is really good. The dimensions and everything are extremely good. And these things just pretty much pop right in. No, you know, modifying of those in any means. Just snaps right in. So we're going to get all these put in real quick. And then uh, we're going to mount it to the wheel. we got two more to do. That one's a little bit of a tight fit, but yep, there it goes. Pops right in. They are a little tight. I mean... It is, you know, printed very well, very tight. So there we go. So those are in. So now we can just take our wheel, take our adapter, put it down there, slip the screw through, and uh, thread it in, such as so. I gotta find where the hole went. There it is. And uh, thread that in there. Thread that one in. Now to make this easier, we're gonna grab our drill which has our little Allen on it. Tighten that down. Tighten that one down. So now the adapter's on the wheel. I'm gonna put the other screws in, but it's as simple as that. Pretty much just, uh, they thread right into those nuts that are on the backside and uh, Good to go. So we'll get this fully put on, and then we're gonna head over to the wheel setup itself, and get everything else mounted onto the wheel setup. One more to go. And it's pretty cool because it leaves a nice like black finish there. You can put anything you want on there or print it in a different color. So it's all attached to our wheel now, to our 350 millimeter Energy Innovations wheel. So we're gonna head over to the wheel setup and get everything else put on. All right, now that we're back here at the wheel setup, we're gonna get the boss adapter installed. Basically, this will just literally slide right over that post. Since I have all my buttons removed, it uses these standard screws that hold the buttons on as it is. Let's throw these in real quick. Really simple install, no modification or anything needed. Tighten those down. You don't want to go too tight so you don't strip out the actual G920. So there we go, that adapter is installed. Not a big deal, really simple. So now we're going to install the quick release portion of the wheel. Um, I sanded the back side of this and sanded the front side of this just to make a good mating surface so that they sat nice and flush. We're gonna get our drill switched over to our Allen bit. There we go, and we're just going to use the normal threaded screws. Um, like I said, AM Studios leaves everything in his description on which ones to use, but I'm using the threaded screws from the Energy Innovations stuff. So we're gonna get that put there. We're gonna line this up. And we're gonna put the first screw in the top. And then we're gonna go around all the other ones and get all the other screws in, making sure we keep the quick release pushed flat up against the adapter so that it's flush and doesn't wobble. There's that. Very easy to do, no modifications needed. Um, like I said, there's a little bit of sanding on the steering wheel portion of it and a little bit of sanding you know, to smooth it all out. But otherwise, um, this is just pretty much cut and dry. Now, he does make adapters for wheels that do not have the buttons removed like I do. Um, I like the buttons removed because I don't like having anything behind. So now that's all there. That's all good to go. Now it does space it out a little bit, but it doesn't bother me. It's really light, so it's not really putting any pressure on the wheel. So we take our bike clamp, slide that over, make sure we get a nice tight grip, like so. Undo it, grab our wheel, slide our wheel into the adapter, and then lock the seat clamp. And that's that. That's 
everything is installed, ready to go. So we're gonna switch to the game cam and uh, give it a shot, make sure everything's good to go. All right, so I figured we would just hop in a seto onto a lobby real quick since I already had a seto on. I'm going to get the wheel plugged in. Well, plugged in. We're gonna get the wheel snapped on because I did take it off, so. Wheel's nice and on there, so we're just going to throw it in a seto, make sure everything works, and, uh, you know, see what happens. Because, like I said, this, this, it does space it back a little bit, um, but if you have a movable chair and everything, then you shouldn't have an issue. Uh, it does make it a little longer. Um, it doesn't really seem like it's going to put a lot of stress on it. If you don't like how long it is and you think it's going to put stress on it, you know, then you can just do it without the quick release. Uh, I like the quick release because getting in and out of the seat... I keep sometimes bashing my knee on the wheel, so I don't want to keep doing that. Um, I may have to space my seat back, move the thing a little bit so it's not as close to me, but it's not too, too bad right now. It's a little bit higher than I would like, but um, I may just have to lower my setup a little bit. But get into a seto, get onto a session. All right, we're going to go into controls, make sure our handbrake is set. Well, I don't think it's plugged in. Hold on. I don't think my handbrake is actually plugged in. There we go. Now my handbrake's plugged in. Now we're good. All right, so let's uh, modify the setup here on this E30 into uh, street tires. Where'd it go? Street 90s and uh, let's drive. I think we're just gonna leave the in car. All right, you brake and everything's working, so we're good. Wheel feels good. Feedback doesn't really doesn't really mess with feedback. Like I said, it's pretty light, so I think we'll be good. Ah! Except for my driving skills here in the center right now. It's letting the wheel kind of float in my hands. Letting it kind of self steer more than anything. Let's see if we can't run this wall. Probably kicked a little too early, but I think we'll save that. Ooh, we're gonna hit that. No. So, it definitely uh, works pretty well. Um, like I said, I have tested this before. And I found out that that 20 fill percent was not the best uh, fill percent option to use. So um, make sure you print the adapter at a higher percentage. Like I said, I'll leave his link in the description box for all of where you can find and buy his adapters and such. He does sell spacer rings as well. Uh, like I said, you can you buy the file. You buy the file and then uh, you can use it as many times as you want and just import it into a 3D printing process program and then print it away if you have your own or you can go somewhere. Uh, I actually had a buddy of mine print it for me because I don't have a 3D printer. I'm just following this uh, Corolla right now. See if we can get some uh, good slides going on. bad dude. He's running a little short track that I like to run that somebody showed me. I think I might have a little bit too much power to try and chase this Corolla. Stay in second gear though. I'm trying to run that outside grass line with him. So the adapter works very well. Um, I've used it without the quick release just with the boss adapter hub and it's uh it's very nice. So definitely uh, like these things. They're very well designed. He did a very good job on making them fit really well without any modifications. So definitely if you're looking for an adapter, he does sell an, he does sell the file for an adapter to put it onto a 70mm hub without taking the buttons off as well as a quick release adapter for the factory size wheels and they do work on the D9. 20 and the G29. So, I'm having a little bit of fun here in a setup right now. 
not as close as I'd like to be to this man, but he's uh, definitely kicking it out all the way. Ah, oh, third person view in the center. Definitely uh, very difficult to drive in, so let's give it a shot, though. The camera just feels so weird in third person in the center. I don't know why. I like third person in the The center just feels goofy to me. As I say, I'm not a fan of third person. I start throwing down some, some nice lines in third person. And this is crazy. Oh my gosh, I was almost smashed him. Ooh. Let's see, this man will follow us. Shout out to him for making a pretty good, uh, pretty good design. Actually, probably one of the best designs I've found for 3D printing of quick releases. Because so I can't take credit for it, but I can definitely uh, say I approve of these adapters, um, and they're fairly, uh, very well priced for the file. I think the file's only like three bucks for the file, and then you can print it, you know yourself um if you have a friend that prints and it's definitely gonna be cheaper um my friend didn't charge me really anything to print them so it was definitely a very good purchase for me to get the files i'm surprised we did that i'm surprised i'm actually drifting this well in third person right now here is he 30 just rips now no Okay, so third person is settled. Not as bad as I thought. Definitely, I think I used to never be able to do this, but I think drifting in other games has kind of given me a better feel for this right now, and I'm definitely loving the feel of Seto right now. Definitely going to be wanting to do a lot more Seto here in the future. There we go. Close to that wall. Yeah, I think we're going to end it on that note. That was closest I've ever gotten to that wall, and I stayed sliding. So I think that's going to do it here for this episode, and we just painted it in here, here on a Seto with the wheel adapter upgrades. If you guys want to see more videos here on a Seto or more upgrades to the channel, I will be doing uh, a button box here very shortly for you guys on how to have all the buttons wired in so you can have a button box up to the side if you have all your buttons removed. So until next time, guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All of the found in the description box below. Make sure you check out AM Studios. I will leave his YouTube and all the information on where to get these adapters in the description box below. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit, and I'm out. Tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money